Good morning. Uh, I'm John Keslick. Uh, this is the Prensky job. It's uh, 4 1 2010. And uh, we're back. Uh, we did prune these trees that were somewhat neglected for a while, but we're here now. And we did start pruning these trees for framework this year. Now we're back to do the mulch. And this is your standard, uh, most likely trees that have been planted too deep. The mulch in the soil have been piled up against the trunks. Chris and Jesse have gone around and removed the soil and the mounds up against the trees, uh, preparing it for me now to get in there and try to determine where the woody roots are coming off the trunk. Uh, in other words, where the tree should have been planted. And then also looking for girdling roots that may have formed above that um, if it was planted too deep and then making a determination and then we're going to properly mulch and fertilize these trees and prune any girdling roots. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to now start looking for the non-woody we're looking for the woody roots coming off the trunk of this tree here now. Very carefully not to wound the trunk. But as you can see, we have roots growing up into the air. It was piled up to here, the soil. And here we have our girdling roots starting, which you can probably see. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. If you zoom in a little bit, see this button right there? That's a zoom in and out. I don't know if you can zoom in a little bit. The movies look better than, the, than what you see on that screen. So here we have our first girdling roots. Tony, you might want to get some snapshots of the girdling root. But we're gonna, see this is what's happening when these trees are planted too deep. And these eventually are gonna cut off the liquid transport. The water and essential elements from the soil and the food from the leaves will get cut off. And then the insects will get blamed. And it's the persons that planted the trees that are responsible. And then the ones that followed through and added insult to injury and piled the mulch and soil up against the trunk of the tree. So, it's a good thing we're doing this. There are some roots on the other side. So we're going to get a hose here and take a closer look at what we got. And then we'll then we'll look at what we have after we after we wash the area with a hose. Okay. Okay, so this tree is a little weird. What we're going to do is we've cleaned up a little bit. We're just going to prune these couple girding roots and we're going to set the new grade with respect to the, uh, you know, it's got some roots on one side here at the right area, but not on the other side for some reason, but that's as deep as we're going to go and get involved. So that's tree number one. So we're going to prune the girdling roots. We're going to level the grade. We're going to fertilize with a little bit of micro elements, and then we're going to properly mulch this tree. Okay, now we fertilize with some liquid sea kelp and level some of the soil out. This tree is really deep. The, the basket was left on and, the, and the, the nylon string. So we're going to start mulching. Mulch is best if kept at least six inches away from the trunk, at least. No more than three to four inches thick and flat. Anything else is going to compromise the health of your tree. Jesse's. 
small amounts of composted material over time can make a huge difference in the health of in the soil. So what we're doing, we're feeding the soil. These are good composted tree trimmings from the 10 most common trees in our area. Composted for two, three, four years. This black color, this black is a natural aging process. This isn't from dyes or sludge. We have a very controlled environment where we do our composting. So that'll be it for that tree for today. And we'll see then the, the roots we pruned will tend not to grow back around the trunk if the mulched area outside is more conducive. So, so that's that tree, tree number one. Thank you. Okay, here's, here's uh, tree number two. And you can see that these uh, root situations are beyond our uh, capacity to deal with there's a lot going on here a lot of girdling and stuff so we're just going to expose a little bit and see what we have here again this tree has been